Hi there. My name is Mara Shin Smith with the Los Angeles County Office of Education. This brief video module titled Decoding Multisyllabic Words will explain how to help students do just exactly that. This module will focus on closed syllables. Typically, words fall into six different syllable type categories. An easy acronym to remember these six syllable types is CLOVER. Identifying the six syllable types can be useful for students when decoding unfamiliar words. This module will focus on one specific type, closed syllables with multisyllabic words. Students may know how to read single syllable words, but may struggle with multisyllabic words. How many times have we as teachers told our students to break the word apart or sound it out? Have we thought to wonder if our students actually know how to do this? Through explicit instruction, we can teach our students specific strategies for decoding unknown words based on syllable types. Not every unknown word that students encounter will follow these strategies 100% of the time, but they do work often enough that students will benefit to know how to identify different syllable types. Prior to teaching students how to sound out multisyllabic closed syllable words, they have to be able to do the following. Count syllables in spoken words, identify and name vowels, and read closed one-syllable words, both real and nonsense. It is extremely important that we explicitly teach our students that every syllable has a vowel. This cannot be left to chance for students to discover on their own. When teaching beginning readers, explicit instruction is imperative. Here is a sequence of instruction when teaching students how to decode closed, multisyllabic words. First, show your student the word. In this example, I used a nonsense word. Second, have the student underline the vowels in the word. Next, have the student identify if the vowels are located together or apart. If vowels are together, it would be a vowel team and count as one sound. Then you will ask the student to draw a line for each vowel they identified. Direct them to write each syllable on a line. Students will then touch and read each syllable back to you. Finally, have the student blend the syllables together to read the word again fluently. Here is a step-by-step -step one sheeter that lists all of the steps I just mentioned. Listed are also samplings of compound words and multisyllabic words that will work with this decoding strategy. Give it a try. There is an inverse relationship between decoding and encoding. Decoding, which we also refer to as reading, is translating printed words into the sounds they represent. Encoding, also referred to as spelling, is translating sounds into printed words. Here is a list of brief instructions when teaching students to encode or spell multisyllabic words. The sequence is very similar to decoding. Start off by reading the word to the student and have them repeat the word back. Next, have the student verbally break apart the word into syllables. Then ask the student to draw a line for each syllable heard. Have the student write the letter or letters heard in each syllable onto the lines drawn. Next, have the student read each written syllable. After they've done that, have the student rewrite the word without the syllable lines and read the word back smoothly. As mentioned earlier, it is essential that we not only explicitly teach our students how to unlock this written language code, but that we are including lots of opportunities for practice with specific skills. After explicit instruction, students should then have guided practice with their teacher. It is at this time that teachers can give corrective feedback if needed. We want to be sure that students are practicing correctly so that when they get to practice independently, they're doing it the right way. The I do, we do, you do model is still excellent. I hope that you found this module on decoding multisyllabic words helpful. Please be sure to check out our other quick modules on the other syllable types. 
Thank you so much for stopping by.